Let's look at some properties of real numbers. For example, which real number property justifies each of these four statements? Well, let's first recall some properties of real numbers. And we are assuming here that all the variables, both in the example as well as in the table, represent real numbers. Let's look at this first statement here. 5 times AB is equal to 5A times B. It turns out that the property that's being illustrated here is the associative property for the operation of multiplication. It's this property here. So let's write that. Associative property for the operation of multiplication. And we'll just write the little multiplication symbol here. Now, often when students are learning these properties, they confuse associativity with commutativity. With the commutative property, we flip or reverse the order. So the commutative property for the operation of multiplication might be something like this. 6 times 9 is equal to 9 times 6. Notice we are flipping or reversing the order of the multiplication. Think of a commuter going back and forth to school. Whereas with the associative property of multiplication, we're either associating the A with the B first or the A with the 5 first and the result is the same. All right, what about this second statement here? 4 plus R is equal to R plus 4. This is demonstrating the commutative property for the operation of addition. It's this property here. Notice we are flipping or reversing the order of the addition. So this is the commutative property for the operation of addition. We'll put the little plus here. All right, what about this third statement here? 3u plus 7u is equal to 3 plus 7 times u. This is demonstrating the distributive property down here. But notice that our statement is starting on the right and then going to the left. But that's okay because the equal sign works in both directions. So this third one is the distributive property. All right, and what about this last statement down here? m plus n times 0 is equal to 0. Now remember that m and n are both real numbers, which means that m plus n is also a real number. So this is demonstrating this multiplication property of 0 down here, where m plus n is x. So this last statement is illustrating the multiplication property of zero. And this is how we demonstrate some real number properties. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.